welcome to another Airflow video. In this video I will show you my file server and how I've decided to arrange my fans. Before we start, let's talk about the fan itself. They always have an intake side and an exhaust side. The side with the wire and the guard is usually the exhaust side, and the other side will be the intake. If you're not sure, check on the border of the fan for these little arrows. Most fans have them. Now on my file server, I have two fans intaking fresh air at the front, going through my six hard drives, and then hot air has a tendency to rise, so I have two exhaust fans at the top. The CPU heatsink fan is sucking air through the heatsink and blowing air into the back exhaust fan. With an intake fan on the side panel, I have three intakes and three exhausts for neutral air pressure. The power supply has its own microsystem, intaking fresh air at the bottom, cooling the inside, and exhausting at the back. This particular power supply is rated 80 plus bronze for better power efficiency and the fan barely has to spin to keep it cool. Now I am demonstrating the airflow of the case. Since it has no side panel and front panel, the airflow is slightly affected, but once installed it will go back to normal. This case has neutral air pressure, so mesh sections without any fans will not passively push or pull air and dust in. I've decided to keep it that way since after experimenting, it was the best setup for me since it provides excellent cooling for a computer that remains on 24-7. In most cases, a simple back exhaust fan will be sufficient. Remember the key rule, hot hair rises. You want to provide the most simple flow for the air. Usually intakes are at the bottom and the front, while exhausts are at the top and the back. Different fans have different performances also. With higher static pressure, which pushes more air through obstacles like heat sinks, and higher RPMs for faster airflow. Thanks for watching, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.